Quick video update. Yesterday, I talked about the battery cables being a little short. Today, you can see that the battery cables are now reaching the battery tray. The uh, problem was the cable management when I got the bike. All the cables were, were uh, and wiring was was zip tied to the right side of the frame down here next to the intake. So um, what I did was I cleaned that all up. As you can see here, there's actually a tray here. It's like a cable management tray. It's got holes in it. I used that and I pulled all the wires up here and then cleaned that up. As you can see, it's, I can see the motor now. It looks a lot cleaner. But this allowed me to get the slack I needed to get the cables over, um, extended right into the battery tray. So I just wanted to provide that update. So anyone who's purchasing these, this bike knows about that. Do, do a little bit of cable management when you get the bike. Uh, the battery tray is four and five eighths of an inch wide, a little bit less than five inches. And then the depth is three inches for those of you uh, who are trying to get a battery before the bike comes in. Uh, it's about four inches tall. My battery's a little bit wider, I bought a lithium battery for it. That's a little bit lighter and uh, it's about five inches. So I had to cut off the sides to make it fit and then new strap um, to uh, tie it down. So just some information for you guys and a little update because I know I was a little bit critical about that. So a little bit, a little bit of cable management goes a long way.